Oh, it is slimy. <laughs> oh, there we go. There okay. Go. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Hey everyone, my name is Chris Anderson. I love mushrooms. I love them on pizza. I love them in my omelets. But did you know that they're the work of an amazing group of species called fungi? I'm here at Rich Life Farms to meet with Pete and Emily Richmond. They're gonna teach me about these incredibly weird, but also incredibly delicious species. Hey Chris. Chris, how are you doing today? Welcome to the Mushroom Barn. Hey, it's great to be here. Well, well, first question I've got is, what exactly is a fungus? A fungi is a kingdom of organisms that are different from plants, different from animals, and they derive their nutrients by breaking down dead and dying plant material and recycle those nutrients for other organisms to use. They don't really move around like plants. They, they're almost stationary, at least that's what it looks like in the forest. So do they, do they do photosynthesis? They don't photosynthesize. They secrete enzymes into their environment that are going to break down those food sources and allow them to consume those nutrients. Very cool. So they break stuff down. Uh, they they uh, break down dead and, dead and dying material. What does that do for an ecosystem? Yeah, so it recycles those nutrients that wouldn't be available to plants or animals and puts them into forms that are available to plants and animals. The fungi spend the majority of their life as what's called a mycelium. Mycelium. And like, have you ever flipped over a log in the woods and seen like white All filamentous time. stuff? Every time I go in the woods, I flip over. That's so that's mycelium. the mycelium. Oh, so that that filament, like that kind of like thin, almost looks like th like threads. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Kind of going through. That's what the fungus is. Yes. And that's how they spend most of their life. That is their vegetative form. And then when conditions are right, when they've eaten all of their food source, when the environmental conditions are correct, they will fruit a mushroom as a means of reproducing. Well, how do you guys grow uh, mushrooms here in the mushroom barn? Yeah, we would love to show you. All right, let's do it. All right, so what do we got going on here, guys? So this is our substrate that we grow our mushrooms on. So imagine that this is us mimicking almost like a tree in the woods is what we're kind of making here. So this is made up of oak sawdust and soybean hulls and it's basically like emily said a mechanically digested log so it's, it's kind of like the food that the, the fungi right will. exactly so this is the food source for the fungi and we sure. put these in a specially designed bag for growing mushrooms it has a filter patch on it that allows for air exchange because fungi like animals inhale oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide and they need that gas exchange to survive so from here, we hydrate the bags so they look like this. And cool. then these guys get folded up and loaded into our steamer here. And in here, they're going to, we're gonna put steam in here. It's gonna raise the temperature of that substrate up to 200 degrees. We hold it there for a couple hours and that basically wipes the slate clean so that there's no other bacteria or fungi that are gonna be competing with the mushroom strains that we wanna grow. So in here, you guys are almost uh, just, you're, you're really killing all the other microbes. Right. Exactly. So you're only end, gonna end up growing the, the fungi that yeah. you, you wanna so put that in. way the spawn has a really easy chance just to fully colonize that food. So you got your substrate, mm -hmm. the food that the fungi will eat. Yep. You clear the deck. Mm -hmm. Make sure no, no one else is growing in there. Yep. So once it's done with this process, we're going to immediately roll this whole thing into the lab right here. Um, what we do is we're going to open up the bag of substrate, pour a little bit of spawn in, and then immediately seal the bag right here with this heat sealer. Then we're going to coat it with our special coating system so we can always track uh, the species, the date, and the generation. And then it's going to go over to Pete and he's gonna mix it up. I'm over here, I shake it up really nice just to get that uh, spawn evenly distributed, and then we kind of shape the bag into a nice block, and then I put them back on the rack, and once we finish a batch of 75, we go into our incubation room. 
All right, so what do we got going on here? So this is our incubation room. This is where the substrate goes once we've introduced the spawn and it needs to sit for the mycelium to fully colonize the substrate. So, oh, you so you, you can really kind of see you the You can see it. So you see here. Yep, you see the wispy kind of white throughout oh. it. That is the mycelium. So that's the actual fungus itself. Correct. Cool. That is right. Oh my gosh, you can see how they like spread out like everywhere, don't they? So, man, how does this so when does this go from a mycelium uh ridden like bag of 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 mm -hmm. substrate to the actual fruiting body yeah so once a bag is fully colonized mm -hmm. so it's going to be completely white um there's not going to be any of the substrate kind of showing through then it's going to be ready to go to our fruiting room and that's when we're going to open up the bag and introduce fresh air to it okay and that's going to encourage the mushroom the fruiting body that we're familiar with to come out very cool so, this is the fruiting room? This is the fruiting room. Welcome to the fruiting room. This is where the magic happens. It's very magical. Yeah. You guys have all sorts of species of fungi. We do. Uh, what do we have here? So, right now you're looking at a few different kinds of oyster mushrooms. So, we have white oysters right here. <laughs> and over by Pete, we have some blue oyster mushrooms. They look extremely cool. They are really delicious, very cool looking. Um, the blues come in kind of different shades, all the way from like a really light kind of watercolor blue, all the way to a really dark gray. And these are all the fruiting bodies of all the, the, the mycelium and fun the, the fungus that's in the substrate, right? Exactly. exactly. So this is how they're going to reproduce. So once the mushroom is mature, it's gonna drop those spores and depending on the mushroom, kind of depends on the, uh, the mechanism for which they do that. Mm -hmm. so but we eat that. Exactly. That's cool. And we like to harvest them before they drop the spores. Smart. Yes. Yeah, so that way they last longer um, for chefs and for individuals who want to cook with them. So what are these guys over here? These are called chestnut mushrooms. Chestnut Some mushrooms. Some people also call them cinnamon caps, and I'm sure you can see why. Yeah. Yeah. What do they taste? What are these guys? I don't think I've ever had those mushrooms. Yeah. Before. So like the name suggests, they're slightly nutty. Um, what's different about them from all the other ones, though, is they have what's called a mucilaginous cap meaning it's slightly sticky. And what that does- So almost like a mucus on top. Yeah. yeah. Um, cool. But what that does is when you cook with it, it works really well as a natural thickener for like a pan sauce or a soup. So they're really great and things like that. Cool. Well, how do you guys harvest these things? Yeah, so we're gonna let you harvest some today. Well, Pete, Emily, thanks so much for inviting me out to your mushroom farm. This is really, really cool and teaching me so much about this amazing group of species. Well, thanks for coming out. We yes, enjoyed having you, you so out much, here. Thank you so much, Chris. And thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on Science Around Cincy. Do you love science? Of course you do. So stay up to date on all things science around Cincy by subscribing to our channel and follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Sci Around Cincy.